Hi there. Uh, it's a new day and it's a new game somewhat. Now I'm going to explain. Uh, we normally do first impressions, but uh, we have, me and Alina, yeah. we have played this game uh, more than a year ago, one, Much one more and a half than, no, or I think two it's years ago. Two years ago, like, base game. We played it once, the base game, and we just don't remember anything from mm -hmm. this game. Now we relearned the game completely with the Tasseti expansion, and it feels like a completely new yeah. game, so it's like first impressions. So we're gonna do game, the yeah. first, so, um, first impressions. But maybe we'll start with Clive and your thoughts about this. Because, because for Clive, it's completely, purely first impressions. For me, it is a brand new game completely, uh, and I really enjoyed it, I have to say. Uh, it sounded very complicated as we were setting up and going through the rules. Uh, there was quite a lot going on, um, but within sort of a turn or two, you begin to see how it works. Then halfway through the game, you realise what you should have been doing, that you should have been a bit more aggressive. The game's about lots of little attacks all over the place. Uh, and by the end, uh, I definitely wanted to play again, like straight away. So yeah, um... Uh, I would say um, there is a small minus for in the game for me. First of all, the amount of rules are tiny details there, you have to keep in mind. And how complex is the setup. Oh, yeah. But what I really did like in the game, um, it's, it's definitely a game is out of my comfort zone. Uh, but I really, really did like in the game that if you lose the battle, it's not a giant loss. It's a little bit. And then you can build up again easily. And the second thing that I really like in the games, and it's really hard in this one, there is so many ways uh, to get victory points, so many ways to, yeah. to win that it's hard to see everything and it's easy to make like the sneak way to the win like Ilya did. He had a really good win. So yeah, uh, it was... Uh, in order to win, you still need to attack. It's it's, yeah. it's an aggressive game. Uh, if you don't attack, why you play this game? That's 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 the whole thing. And I like to play around with uh, different toys. I like to play around with miniatures and special powers of like creatures. It gives me much more of that boost, and, and it's a lovely, wonderful artwork as well, and Egyptian theme that I love as well. So. It already gives much to the game, the appearance itself, mm -hmm. and the gameplay. It's it's rather a euro with very trash and combat elements, a lot of them as well. But um, but it's still I, a pure I don't, hybrid. I don't like aggressive games that much. Hybrid. And this one felt like we might sell it, but now we, uh, as we thought about it, we we felt like building your engine, building your combination of power tiles and like having some of the, the Divine Invention cards as a bonus and having the Tassetti expansion, the yep. free sport as more bonus becomes like a puzzle of combining things, you know. Yeah, everything. And it's wonderful. It's and you cannot draft anything. I think comparing this with In the Name of Odin, they're doing similar things. They're trying to replicate aggressive societies, uh, historical societies, and I think this does it really, really well. Here, here you have theme. <laughs> yes, yes, it works. Here. You, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, you can get points in so many different ways. And I, I like how some are permanent and some are yes. temporary. As, like, you can like lose a battle in one temple, but you get the troops and go into the other temple. Yep. You're like, I lose something, I get something all the time, all the time. You yep. get the constant back and forth, back and forth. And sometimes it's it's not my style, and here yeah, it's 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 just great. I agree. So, yeah. I like the games where it's like you have tons of things you can do, and you have never enough actions, or in this particular case, never enough uh, prayer points to get all you want. So you always have to make some decisions. I always you kind of feel the plan in your head that what you want to do, but you don't have enough stuff there. Yeah. So I I really like this kind of this aspect in the game. Tiny thing that uh, Clive mentioned uh, where we just discussed it, um, is that uh, with the expansion you have four pyramids, but you still play with three oh, yeah. pyramids. So each player is a little bit now different, mm -hmm. where y you can choose to have like those three colors, and I can choose to have other three, like almost the same three colors except one, you know, and 
but we all read the it feels like what you're deciding is what you're not going to be able to do you're yeah. deciding which of the four you won't play yeah. which yeah, the four kind of. pyramid but on the other hand like you did you went and you uh, invaded yes. opponents black pyramid you didn't have the black it pyramid it finally makes the game. sense to invade and like to have opponent spirit because you not have your three and you'll get and get opponents fourth color the, to get the, the, uh, the there action. is there, there is another reason the reason is is it number four uh, level four pyramids yeah. where you get the points out of that but it's more but now it's more yeah now yeah. you get the powers if you don't have that pyramid so it's but see I'm quite sure the little I remember from the first game I'm like 100% sure that expansion makes the game much cooler even if it adds much more those tiny details you have to keep in I, mind I like the black uh, does it this path I, I, I liked it but I would need to play more with this path to understand fully if it's needed or not so it's, uh, it is it's needed. a little bit clunky you know yeah I understand but right now it's the first game when you play with the city it's and we only played three of the five modules of the expansion oh yeah, yeah. We, so we, well. we didn't play the the dawn which is uh, just determining play order and we didn't play the uh, alternative victory points oh yeah yeah because yeah. I like the straight you get to eight you win that I didn't really like this how it how town it okay. so yeah yep. that's that's Kemet. Um, that's Kemet. It, most likely keeper yeah we, we were thinking about selling it now it's keeper, no, it's keeper. so um, Mother God collection Do we have Lovely. to have it all <laughs> so, will you give it thumbs up? Definitely, for sure. That's yeah. a nice sour thing. No, but, okay, let's give it something else. <laughs> I don't know what. It's a keeper. Yeah. All right. So, Thank you. See you next video. Okay, bye.